One of my favorite parts about flying airplanes is all the different types of airports you get to fly to. Today we're going to fly from a Class Bravo airspace of Washington, Dulles, down to a Class Delta airspace of Opelika, down by Miami, Florida. Here we go. Start the TBM here at Washington Dulles. Give it a sign we're ready to spin up. Alright, starter's on. First thing's rolled in it, starter light is on, ignition light is on. If the rest two were not illuminated, we'd have work immediately. Letting the NG wind up as high as it'll go. And there it is, we'll introduce the fuel to low idle. Now we're watching for our light off, watching the ITT for hot starts, NG for hung starts. Two most common failures you'll get in the startup cycle. I'd like to welcome everybody on board. Special, exciting uh, trip here today from Washington down to Miami. So what's new with this flight on four flight I'm using is the uh, PDC, pre-departure clearance. So we don't even have to contact the ATIS to monitor that or contact clearance delivery. We've got it all on a text message here. So it's quick and easy to get everything set up into the computer system now, the airplane. We have information uniform. I got that all set up and I got the clearance down here that you can see. We have that all programmed in the plane. Now we'll just contact ground and tell them we're ready to taxi. We'll see how this goes. Afternoon, Dallas Ground, November 851 Tango Bravo with signature with uniform right taxi. November 851 Tango Bravo, Dulles Ground. Would you have any interest in runway 19 or left today? Yeah, you guessed it. Quick and easy. Thank you. One Tango Bravo. November 1 Tango Bravo. Not a problem. We aim to please here. Runway 19 or left. Taxi via Juliet. And I do enjoy your channel. Uh, thanks for following along. We'll taxi to 19 left via Juliet, November 851 Tango Bravo. Well, how about that? Are you recording? Well, yes, we are, so you'll be in that video. We have the marshal. All right, November 1, Tango Quick Bravo, and you'll flash. be ready upon reaching. Hey, okay, firm, we'll be ready upon reaching, 1, Tango Bravo. So he's telling us to go straight ahead, following his hand instructions, and there we go to the left. So this is Signature Aviation, flight support we we'll used for an FBO. So good services here at Washington Dulles, and that controller was pretty nice too. I guess he follows along on the channel. So yeah, we'd like to welcome everybody on board. If you like these videos, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that little bell, and it'll notify you when I upload. Look out at the wing out there. We'll do our flight controls for incorrect. You can see the controls. And we got a real nice, quick, easy taxi on this one. If we were to go over to 3-0, it would be about a 15-minute taxi time, so we got lucky on this one. And straight ahead is 1-9 left. We'll monitor tower. I gotta admit, this PDC feature on 4-flight is amazing. That was so quick and easy compared to what you normally have to do. Saved a lot of time. 
851 Tango Bravo, Dallas Tower, 118 direct following from way 19 or left, line up and wait. You're following traffic off of 30 and traffic for you on a 12 mile final is a heavy Boeing 767. Line up and wait, 19 left, RA51 Tango Bravo. All right, so we're giving clearance to go onto the runway, line up, and we'll wait for the takeoff clearance. Here's our hold short bars, we'll cross that, clear and final, and clear down the runway. Galaxy 6 Bravo Alpha heading 250, contact to tell me departure, good day. This is a really big, long, wide runway here. Some of the biggest airplanes in the world will land at this airport. Dot com 6330, as you can see. Actually, you're going to At the front, it is a long ways down that runway. So we're lined up here on the center line. We're going to hold the brakes and wait for our takeoff. 6333, tower. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, runway 19 or left, turn right heading 230, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 19 left, we'll turn right to 230, another right 51 Tango Bravo. All right, here we go, Miami, Florida, here we come. So we'll use the power for takeoff power. And takeoff power is set. Low temperature pressure is all within the green. We'll hold the center line with the rudder pedals. And we're looking for a rotation United speed. United 947 Heavy, United 947 Heavy, Dallas Tower. And there it is. So we'll and we got a positive rate. And indicating. Tap the brakes. We'll wait just a little bit longer to raise the gear today since we have a lot of remaining runway in case we had any kind of issue. And there we go, we'll go gear up. There's the tower off the right wing. And uh, United 947, we picked up the runway coming through 29 And gear is up in and indicating. We'll Thank start a right turn to 230. And we're also going to go flaps up. Yaw damper on. TBM 1 Tango Bravo heading 230. Contact Potomac departure. Good day. 230 order departure. 1 Tango Bravo, thanks for help. Potomac departure, good afternoon. I'm already 51 Tango Bravo, 1000, climb the tree. Already 51 Tango Bravo, Potomac departure radar contact, climb maintain, 7000. Climb maintain, 7000, 851 Tango Bravo. 7000 set up in our altitude pre selector. And we'll now put on the autopilot. We're going to climb in IES mode, and autopilot is now on, and we're also in heading mode. Dulles is a class Bravo airspace, one of the busier airports the in all of the United navigation. States. And that shows you right there pretty much how easy it is. Or nine four six five part on out of it. One zero thousand. Going into the overcast layer here, right around twenty seven hundred feet. Now we're at IMC conditions, so we're just relying off our instruments. Now we're starting to see some sunshine here. We're gonna break out of that overcast layer, and it is gonna be a nice blue sky day up here. Put our window shade down. Now we're going to go into 850 mode, flap lever goes up and over the gate, and we can also turn off our inertial separator, we'll switch down by my left knee, it's going to let more air into the intake. But now you can find we can utilize the torque above 100% being in 850 mode. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, climb and maintain 10,000. Climb maintain 10,000, 1 Tango Bravo. TBM 1 Tango Bravo, clear direct to the Casanova VOR, resume on navigation. Clear Casanova VOR, and resume on navigation, 851 1 Tango Bravo. That's our first fix on our flight plan and departure. We'll go into nav mode. And now the airplane will Dot navigate towards Casanova. 2 o'clock, 5 miles eastbound, level 6,000 citation. Nice smooth air here today. TBM, 1 Tango Bravo, contact Potomac, 118.67. 1867, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Potomac, good afternoon. TBM, 851 Tango Bravo, 6,700, climbing to 10,000, direct Casanova. Uh, 851 Tango Bravo, between departure, Roger, climb maintain 16,000. Climb maintain 16,000, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, 16,000 set up in our altitude pre-selector. Also, now that we're, you know, we're going to be climbing up, we'll set our pressurization for our cruise altitude. We're going to be going up to 30,000 feet today, which is flight level 300. That's all set. Now, we're climbing a little bit slower of a climb rate than what I would like to have. We're currently at 150 knots indicated. So I want to climb a little faster. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into VS mode, put it for 2,500 feet a minute, and now the air speed is going to bleed off. Once it gets down to 140 knots, we'll re-go back into IES mode. And when you're in IES mode, you don't really have to worry about stalling it as long as the airplane does what it's supposed to be doing. In VS mode, you know, you could set it to a climb rate greater than what the airplane can handle, and it would just keep bleeding off, and your airplane eventually stall 
fall out of the sky. So, IS mode is a safer mode to climb in. So the airspeed's bleeding off, and there's 140 knots. Now I re-engage the IS, indicate airspeed mode for the autopilot. So if you take a look down here at four flight on the iPad, you're gonna see this is where we just took off. You got the TFR all around Washington, D.C. As concerned with the president, and we're gonna go down to Casanova, and then we're gonna proceed on down over Greensboro, and straight on down into Miami. Flight time today is predicted to be around 3 hours and 25 minutes, so you'll have a little bit of a headwind on this flight today. And down around the Florida Georgia line, we have some thunderstorms we're going to have to navigate around, so we'll have to keep an eye on that a little bit later on the flight. And as we climb, the torque is going to keep decreasing with altitude, so we keep adding it in until we get ITT limited. If you're up high, that's what you're going to be limited on is the ITT. Down low, you'll be torque limited. Center 1 Tango Bravo, Tonic Washington, Center 121.67. 12167, 1 Tango Bravo, have a good day. Good afternoon, Washington, November 85, 1 Tango Bravo, 13400, climb to 16000. November 85, 1 Tango Bravo, Washington, around South Sound, Tumulus 3022. 22, thanks. So they gave the current altimeter setting, 3022, so we'll put that in our altimeter. And once we get above into the flight levels, we have a standard altimeter of 2992. So we do have an air mid over this area that we're expected to get some moderate turbulence up higher. So we might experience a little bit of that. And there we are, 100 feet to go. The airplane's going to start to level off here. The nose will come down, we'll build up some speed. But right now, yeah, we have a 60 knot wind, 61 knot wind now coming right off or 1 o'clock here. So using PDC with four flight, the pre-departure clearance was actually really convenient today. I was surprised at how efficient that was. So it works as advertised. I look forward to using that more in the future. PDC is not available at all the airports throughout the country and in the world. Uh, usually it's typically just found at all the busier ones. I fly this TBM as my job. It's a really great career. When I look at flying as a career, I look at the uh, lifestyle that comes with the job. Sometimes the bigger airplanes you fly don't always give you the better quality of life. If you guys are thinking about becoming a pilot, my friend Jason Shepard has an online ground school, m0a.com. I've been partnered with him for a couple years now. He uh, has an online ground school that will be able to guide you through getting your ratings. Uh, one Tango Bravo, climbing team called 220. 220, One Tango Bravo. So we're just getting stepped up. Yeah, check out Jason Shepard's m0a.com, linked in the description below, along with all other social medias that I'm on. If you want to follow along behind the scenes in between the YouTube videos. All right, if you look down here at the altimeter, you're going to see we're currently passing through 17,700. And then that's your altitude pre-selector up here, level 220. So since we're about to go into the flight levels right now, we'll push the standard button. And you're going to see the altimeter there as 3022. It's going to switch to 2992. If you look down here at the iPad, you'll see there's our glide advisor. That little green ring, and off to the west of us here is the uh, mountains. You can see they where we cannot glide as far when you get to those mountains compared to if we over went to the east of where we're at. So that glide advisor is pretty handy to have if you ever have an issue, knowing how far you're going to be able to glide. Five one Tango Bravo, continue climb, maintain level two seven zero. You're clear direct to Greensboro. Roger, climb it up to 270 zero, and we'll direct Greensboro. Thanks. Eight five one Tango Bravo. All right, two seven zero set. We'll scroll down to Greensboro, and we'll go direct, enter, enter. We're in nav mode, now the airplane will turn direct to Greensboro. Center station, 600 Alpha Lima, level 16,000. We scroll out here, we'll see if we can take a look down here. You're going to see all the weather we got to deal with. 3022. We'll pan towards it. And there it is, a lot of lightning and heavy rain all around the Florida Georgia line. Gecko, uh, two, five, Hopefully our routing will keep us just to the east of it. And it's been pretty much, oh. I've been keeping an eye out on it all morning. It's been kind of just hovering in around the same area. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, stay to the east and remain clear of it. We might get stuck in some of the overhangs, but we'll deal with that a little later when we get to it. But it's always good to just keep monitoring it and keep planning what you want to do throughout your flight. Zero eight five one Tango Bravo contact Washington Center one three three point seven two one three three point seven two eight five one Tango Bravo good day. 
Bethany, Washington Center, our 851 Tango Bravo 250, climbing to 270. Number 851 Tango Bravo, Washington Center, climbing to level 300. Climbing to level 300, one Tango Bravo. All right, so we're now cleared up right to our cruise altitude. We've got 300 set up in our altitude pre-selector. Once we get up there and let the plane level off, build up some airspeed, we'll set our cruise power, and we'll enjoy about three more hours of flight time, and we'll uh, down to Miami. And you're on long flights like this, a strict rule that I adhere to is called coffee time. It's one hour ETE, estimated time en route. And when it hits one hour, that is when I usually say it's good and you're safe to enjoy a beverage. I would not suggest indulging in a beverage when you have three more hours to go when you don't have a bathroom on board. So if you look down here at the environmental control panel, you'll see our pressurization has settled out. It's no longer in the climb. We're, our cabin altitude is just over 9,000 feet. And the PSI just over 5 point, looks like about 5.3. We have it all set up. This airplane is RVSM approved. American 309, along with me is being the pilot. 2792 American That means we can go up above uh, 280. The service ceiling of this airplane is 31,000 feet. 4788 to 790. There we go, we got 200 feet to go. The airplane, the autopilot is capturing our cruise altitude. Now we're just going to give it a little bit of time to get as much airspeed as we can get out of it at this altitude with our current power setting. And then we'll set now cruise power. We're leveling off. I'm pushing with my left hand over here. You probably can't see it. That's my rudder trim, pushing it to the left as we level off to keep the airplane in coordinated flight. And it's pretty depressing. We have now a hundred knot wind coming at our one o'clock blowing against us. So we are going significantly slower than what we could if we had zero wind or tailwind. I'm gonna set our cruise power. There's our airspeed. Just going over about 170 knots. We're going to come over here, catch your torque, it's going to be all right. We're going to pull the prop to 1900. So right now it's around 2000. We're still right about 799 on the ITT. So we come down here with the blue lever and I'm going to pull this back. So I'm pulling it back slowly and you're going to see the prop RPM drop. And I'm going to pull it right back to 1900, it's just a little bit better with the cabin environment, a little bit quieter, and there it is. So we have our Prop RPM set, torque looks good, ITT looks good, and G is good, and our oil pressure and temperatures all look good. All right, so now we're just gonna sit back, relax. It's showing another three hours and 18 minutes ETE. We'll put the armrest down, we'll turn the uh, XM radio on and enjoy the rest of the flight, and we will see you guys on the Monster descent into Miami. We're on the arrival, Blue C4 arrival into South Florida area. Bravo, just trying to maintain 7,000. Out of 7,000, one Tango Bravo. Currently I'm with Palm Beach. Out of 900,000, to 7,000. Got a little bit of weather over there off our left wing, should be no factor. And we'll go around the COM2 and monitor and get the ATIS at Opelaka. Opelaka Airport information, wind heat time 2492, wind 100, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Temperature 2.22 now, altimeter 3001. Expect the RNF and visual approach from way down to left. Plan to get a front of way down to left, runway 1200, runway down to right. Clearance command at ground 120.02, advise you have your information with me. 
All right, we have information from Whiskey. Second Bravo contact, Miami approach, 133.77. 133 one second, Bravo. Have a good day. And this is where we're going to let Miami know we have Whiskey. Good afternoon, Miami. No, Ray 51 Tango Bravo, 7,500. Just saying 7,000 with information Whiskey. Ray 51 Tango Bravo, Miami approach. Uh, would you like runway 1 2 or 9 left? We'll take 9 left for 1 Tango Bravo. You can expect that. So we're going to be going in for 9 left. When we tell me of information Whiskey, that he knows we have the most current information of the airport every hour they update it. We've been sitting in this airplane currently right, three hours and 13 minutes. Right Thanks to you guys with YouTube, you're definitely not as tired of sitting in this airplane as I am. But it's been a very smooth flight. We had a bunch of weather we went around and IMC, there was a lot of visibility, but for the most part it stayed nice and smooth. And here we are at the heat left, intersection of the blue 54 arrival. Now we'll have a slight turn to the right. A120, 1800, till established code Alice, 10 left, Delta 1254. 1254, you can contact Lighted Tower, 119.3, thanks for your help. And normally Miami will we'll break you off the arrival just north of Fort Lauderdale International Airport, so you won't do the full arrival. Roger, maintain visual separation from traffic. The sun's pretty bright out there in the west, we'll adjust our sunshade here. And off the left wing out there, it's the Atlantic Ocean and the Bahamas. The viewers that are watching from around the world. VM1, Tango Bravo, descent and maintain 6,000. Going down to 6,000, 1 Tango Bravo. All right, 6,000 center altitude pre-selector with VSC. 1 Tango Bravo, just to make sure I have your runway correct. Was it 9 or left or 1, 2? We'll take 9 left, A5, 1 Tango Bravo. Thank you so much. So we'll see if he follows along with what is the normal procedure here where he'll CBM, uh, thank one us. Bravo, flighting 220. 220, one takeoff Bravo. And there it is. We always get to turn just north of Fort Lauderdale Airport. 243, reduce speed to 210. So now we're off the arrival. We'll actually scroll down to the Opelok Airport, just go direct, enter, enter. So we just have good awareness of where the airport is compared to where we're at, since we're on radar vectors. Tango Bravo, flighting 240. 240, one Tango Bravo. So we got 240 with the heading bug set, and we are in heading mode, so the airplane's turning towards that. We'll be looking right into that sun. Two, and, zero, and you guys will have a good view now uh, of Fort Lauderdale Beach. You can see it down there. Looks like a pretty good amount of waves at the beach today, so probably not a good day for swimming. One Tango Bravo, descent and maintain 4,000. 4,000, one Tango Bravo. 4,000 set, we'll VS it down. Tango, thanks for your help. And you'll also now see downtown Fort Lauderdale in Los Olas. Off the left wing. Thank you. And right past that, you guys will see Fort Lauderdale International Airport, Class Charlie Airspace. So we took off out of Bravo. Now yeah, we're coming in, transitioning through Class Charlie. And Bravo, which is Miami International. And we'll be landing at Class Delta Airspace of Opelaka. Number one, uh, Tango Bravo, to center maintain 3,000, contact Miami approach 128.6. 3,000, 28.6, Tango Bravo, how good day? You too. Miami, good afternoon, November 851 Tango Bravo, 4,700, descending to 3,000 on a 240 heading. 351 Tango Bravo, Miami approach, good afternoon. That's 1,000 to go, 4,000 descending to 3,000. Even one Tango Bravo, turn 10 degrees right. 10 right, 851 Tango Bravo, we'll get the field site. One thing about Roger, expect the visual approach travel before you shortly pass traffic. 12 o'clock and about six miles from moving in the case, 1,700. Roger, keep an eye out for the traffic, one thing about it. All right, we got traffic out in front of us. It is pretty bright with that sunshine, so we'll try to keep a good eye out for him. Got the visor down to try to help me see a little bit better. We got our wigwags on the pulsating landing lights, so they alternate which one flashes on the wings. One thing about it, we'll just be the 170. 170 on the speed, one thing about it. All right, so we're pulling the power back. We've got a speed reduction. We're under 200 knots. We can put our inertial separator on. That's the limitation for turning it on. Your Bravo turn left heading of uh, 200, maintaining 1,600 exit your descent. 200, 1,600 exit down, 851 Tango Bravo. Okay, there we go. 1,600 will be us at right down 3,000 feet a minute. There's our 170 on the speed. There's our inertial separators on. The light comes on. I don't know if you guys can see it. At least we're not looking into the sun anymore. And since we're 
Coming down at such a fast rate, to hold it at 170, we get this thing almost all the way back to idle. One thing above, Bravo, could visual approach right now, left, contact the tower, 13467, good day. Clear for the visual 9 left, over to tower, no ray 5 one tango Bravo, okay. Tower, no ray 5 one tango Bravo, 1600, and we're on a visual for 9 left. Seven, ray 5 one tango Bravo, we're on my 9 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 9 left, no ray 5 one tango Bravo. Alright, we'll disconnect the autopilot. And no one six four five. you want to go to Perry now? And we'll go direct to the numbers. Yeah, we're going to North Perry. Yeah, 645, roger, fly westbound. Short approaches are always more fun than extending way out there. Beautiful view off the left with the way the sun is shining. So we're within the speed limitation, we'll go first notch flap, selected. We'll go out there, drilling into the wing, you'll see it coming down. And indicating. And we'll also go gear and transition. I'll wait for it to indicate. Anytime you flip any switch in an airplane, you always make sure you verify it's doing what it's supposed to. And we got down three green. Now, if you look out the front window, you're going to see a runway. And you might think, oh, that's where we're going to land. That is not where we're going to land. That's actually runway one, two. We'll make All a right, left turn as soon as we get a little bit lower to line up with nine left. left. We're going to have a little bit of a wind off the right here. 500. That's 500 feet to the ground. We're looking good on our speed. See, that's not the runway we're going to land out right here in front of us. You'll see here just in a second what I'm going to do. Pitching for around 110 knots. Now we'll start our gradual left turn. Okay, just verify you landing 9 left or 1-2. Landing 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. Tango Bravo, thank you. 9 left, clear to land. Clear land 9 left, 851 Tango Bravo. And there we are. We even fooled the tower on that. So we're lined up with 9 left. We'll go back to flight idle. Go into the flare. There we go, we touched down, center line. And since our FBO is at the end of the runway, we're not going to go on the brakes very hard or just go right, over to the gate into beta. We'll roll this out. And I'm looking to get off at Charlie intersection. Attention all aircraft with permission X ray is current, altimeter 3001. Now one tangle Bravo Fable, turn right at Echo or Charlie, contact ground one to zero point zero two. We'll sit on Charlie and go to ground eight five one tangle Bravo. As you're there in the groove there, I couldn't tell if you were lined up for one, two or nine months. I just having a little fun with a sh you know, short end approach there. After that. Alright, so this is our Charlie intersection. We'll go left here and go to ground and contact them when we get over to the other side of the hold short bars. All the yellow line right in here. There's our hold short bars up ahead here. We'll walk the ground, good afternoon. No, Ray five one Tango Bravo, call your nine left on Charlie, need to go in the signature. Tango Bravo, block ground, taxi via November, November 6. November, November 6 in the ramp. Ray five one Tango Bravo. All right, we've got our clearance into the ramp. November, November 6. Right here to the left, that is November. We'll follow this in. Hope you guys enjoyed that IFR flight from Washington, Dulles, down here to the Miami area, landing at Opalaka. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to go over to steveo1canigo.com for the meetup schedule and the prizes that we give away. It's all listed over there. And here's November 6th. We've got Eastern out there in front of us. Pretty cool to see them here. And right up here is our marshaler. We'll follow his hand instructions in. When he crosses those batons, we are done. So wherever you guys are watching from, I hope you guys are all doing well. And we'll talk to you again someday soon.